Welcome dreamers to another video of our channel, here we grow. We're still on the topic about keto and I'm excited. I'm uh, more than happy to express and to share all the things that I'm doing on keto, what I was experiencing and all the tips uh, about staying in ketosis and what kind of uh, food you can eat. In the previous video, I was talking about substitutions. So everything that you miss, you're not allowed to eat on keto with what you can substitute. And I hope that I helped you a lot with my advices. Uh, there is also things that I haven't tried from that list, but I'm working on it. And I'm very excited to, to try new things. In today's video, I'm going to talk about topic that um, I promise you that I will make a separate video a few videos ago. So it's about the veggies, how many grams of carbs they have per serving. So you will not going to be kicked out of ketosis. All the things that I'm telling you are recipes or things that you can eat that they are not gonna kick you out of ketosis. Or at least you can count the carbs and you will be very cautious. So let's start it. I'm gonna start, I'm not gonna talk about all the veggies on the planet that they exist, but I'm gonna uh, mention the most common veggies and I will start from the highest to the lowest amount of carbs. So I'm gonna start with onions and carrots. They have eight grams of carbs per 100 grams, which is not that bad because maybe you're not allowed to eat carrots in big amount, but when you're cooking, when you're making like a soup or stew or something, you can put a little carrot, you can put onion, right we are not putting like i don't know uh one pound of onion you're still putting like 100 to 200 grams of onions it's not like you're eating the whole thing at one meal it's a stew it's a soup so it's like a, even less than that so you're good with that beets and turnips they have between five and seven grams of carbs. So um, I love turnips. That's my substitution for um, potatoes. And I'm very careful how much I'm eating. So for one meal, I'm gonna do like one or two, but I'm not gonna eat like the whole thing. It's gonna be like, I don't know, for another meal or uh, for the next day or something like that. Rutabaga and celery root, they have five to six grams of carbs. So something similar like the, the beets and uh, the turnips. Um, be careful, everything that it's like a root, be careful how much you're eating. They are low with carbs, yes, but imagine that that's only in one, like a small, two medium, a bowl of uh, turnip or celery root. Five grams of carbs are in Brussels sprouts and yellow bell pepper. I need to mention this. So all the bell peppers, me personally, when I'm cooking, it uh, doesn't matter what I'm cooking, like uh, roasting peppers or any kind of meal I'm cooking, I'm always trying to mix the peppers. So I want to have like colors, green, yellow, orange, uh, red, but all of them, they have different amount of carbs and we need to be careful, especially with the orange one. Yellow, red, and green are fine. So I'm gonna start with the yellow one. Orange is excluded because it has even more than seven. Yellow one has five grams of carbs. Red bell pepper, together in a group with uh, green beans and broccoli, 
they have four grams of carbs. They're very healthy and they're very good. So you can roast them, you can boil them, you can cook them in a meal together with something like make a soup or stew or whatever. They are perfect. One of my favorite recipe is like a mac and cheese, but made in, so instead of the pasta, I'm putting broccoli and they're very good. One tip very important for the broccoli, don't boil too long. Broccoli doesn't need to be boiled for too long. The best option is to steam for a short time and it will be perfect. Three grams of carbs, a lot of veggies, they have three grams of carbs. We can cook them, we can eat them fresh. Here in that group are cauliflower, cucumber, zucchini, cabbage, eggplant, olives, tomatoes, kale and green peppers. Two grams of carbs we have in asparagus, avocado, and lettuce. Avocado is like the best thing that happened on keto. Less in carbs, a lot of healthy fats, and a lot of vitamins inside. So avocado, it's very good. That's why I recommend to use oil from avocado and to eat fresh. So many recipes. I will tell you one thing, uh, how to cook. You can cut the avocado on a half, take the, the bowl, the seed in the middle, and in the hole you can put egg, put a cheese and bacon crumbs and um, spices like a black pepper, oregano, something. So good. Again, just five minutes. Very easy, like that. And we came to the first place, the winners. Just one gram of carbs has celery and spinach. To be honest, I tried celery only once and I didn't have any kind of opinion. I need to try again. Spinach is one of my favorite. Like I mentioned in the previous video, I don't know if someone in meanwhile uh, try to find that recipe and try it. The lasagna with spinach and cream cheese, so good. If you did, please leave a comment and tell me, let me know if you like it or not. I don't think so that there will be like a negative um, answer for that because it's, it's really good. Spinach also you can eat fresh as a salad, like spinach is very good. Thank you for watching this video dreamers, thank you for being here. So uh, if you're new here, you can subscribe below the video. If you like this video, please click the thumb like and I uh, can't wait to see you next time. Bye dreamers.